What's going on, everybody? Welcome to episode two of Utopia. Utopia, if you don't know, you didn't check out the first video. This is my wife's picks from the Goodwill bins. She doesn't do this for a living. She's a pharmacist. Uh, only knowledge she has of picking is what's in her head from just whatever, life, and watching me over the past 18 years doing this. So, that's the rundown of Utopia. You can start with episode one. We're into episode two. And we're going to get into the first week. The first week, she had spent about 20 bucks. I had rounded it up. So, the 20 bucks came out to like 55 cents an item. She uh, sold a few items, which we'll get to in a minute. Um, so, she had a total of 35 items the first trip to the bins since we started this project this time she went a little she's gonna put me to work because i'm the one who lists this stuff and she i don't even know exactly what all she's got here i tried not to help her let her make the decisions so that's the whole basis of this video as someone who may not know much what can you do what can you find what can you get so we're gonna get into she actually her value of the 32 items still remaining in my eBay store, urban-picker.com, is $492.69. That's the asking retail price of the items she picked from the first one. Uh, you can go to the store, check under Utopia category to see those items. So that's not bad for her original $20 investment to find. She had found over $500 worth of asking merchandise. So we're going to get into... What actually sold so we're gonna flip the camera so what actually sold for her was the first thing to sell were these volleyball nike knee pads brand new in the pack um they sold for 18 dollars then we sold this vintage sweater i don't even think it had a, a name on it because i had just typed in generics names for it or generic words for it this sold for $12, so not bad for $0.55. Cents. And then if you watched episode one, you heard my story about Build-A-Bears and what have you. This, I ended up taking an offer for $17.01 just to help her get her money back quick. So $17 for a hedgehog Build-A-Bear. So those are the three items. And let me flip the camera back around. All right. All right, so those were the three items. She'd spent $20. She made back, uh, she was in the profit of $27.01 after she sold those three items off of the $20. So not bad. This time around, she spent $54, $54. So now she's sitting at negative $27.25. That's all she has tied up and all the merchandise she has left and in the store at the moment. And what I'm about to show you, we'll go through this real quick. And I'm curious to see what she picked. All right. Let's start over here with this tote. I got a stack and a tote. that I like puppets no that'll go for seven that's cool I like that let's not mix this stuff up she knows I grab stuffed animals so she grabbed a plush Eeyore I like this it's got the uh, oversized paws very nice I like that I would have grabbed that so that's cool all right that's the media here let's see what we got we play Looks like she grabbed a couple of eight tracks. Roger Williams and Arthur Fielder. I would not have grabbed these two artists because they don't sell very well. So I'll probably put those together and try to get rid of them that way for her. Snoopy to the moon. Now this was a Happy Meal book. Eh, probably not nothing there either. This is cool. 
Charlie Brown VHS tape in the old clamshell style case. The big cases, the big ones like the you see a lot of Disney's and those are called clamshell cases. Um, a new DVD. Mario Brothers. I grab anything video games, so that's probably where she got that from. 88 KDHX, a local radio station. So just a bunch of different artists on there. Probably local, well, maybe not. Nope. Well, maybe. Anyway, I don't know. something like this, you're probably not going to find up on eBay, so I can probably ask, you know, 10, 12 bucks for that. So and somebody local will end up buying it. I love buying local items. One thing before I, you know, one thing I always try to cater to, I cater, try to cater to different specifics, but one is local. I always try to get local stuff. Like that's why I buy all Cardinals, all St. Louis Blues, anything local I like buying because the people who's gonna support you most are the locals. The ones who just, you know, you're in my neck of the woods. I'm going to support you. I'm going to buy this from you. So always shoot for your local area and be local proud, I guess you could say. What she got here, I have no idea. I don't know what the heck this is. I don't know what the worth is going to be on this stuff. That's a band book. She always grabs these little goofy stuff like this. She would do this before when she would just go with me. And a lot of it's just flops, but it's one of her things... Everybody has a weakness on what they grab, I guess. That's that's hers. Here's more of this kind of stuff. I guess any of these goose, goofy little things when they're new in the package. But if they're all craft related, I can put them all in one big lot and see. That's cool. If they'll go for money. So we'll see. Uh, a couple of cassettes. Nothing major there. I gotta weed out what she probably had bought for herself too. Like this, she probably bought for herself. She's always buying kitchen towels. So I'm sure that's going to be hers. The bathroom bloopers book. Uh, Dr. Hook cassette. That's cool. World Space Agency. Well, that's cool. I don't know if it's a brand name or not, but it's cool. I don't know if it's going to be worth anything. Can't care. Okay, cool. Four Tops cassette. And PlayStation game. Madden. Not much here. All right, we get into clothes now. Let's see. Izod sweater. All right, so she grabbed that. Not bad. I could do something with that. I can get something out of that. Kind of plain, but hey, there's people who like plain out there. What the heck is this? Scarf, I'm guessing. Ben Berger. Berger. Luxury collection. I don't know, I guess it's some kind of scarf. Alright, what do we got here? Missouri Tigers. Usually grab, that's a whole local thing I talk about. I usually grab Mizzou stuff. Quebec, I always grab, have you seen some of my other videos? Anything that's uh, souvenir related when it comes to shirts? Because there's so much money in that area. Oh, that's cool. If you see that, it's a microphone of a radio station, I guess. 90.7 KWMU custom design for that radio station by Diane Kazman. Kazm I hate saying last names. You would think with my last name, Helfer say that I could pronounce people's last names better, but that's cool. So that's like a custom radio station tie. It's got the call letters on there. That is really cool. I wish I found that. That's stuff that I like. That's one of those things that chances are you're not going to find another one online. You got to wait for the certain buyer, but I could probably put 25 bucks on this and they would pay it. That's why I like finding that kind of stuff. 
cardinal shirt. Simple. And this is stuff that's kind of reminding me of what I'm going to do. I'm going to start a new, another third video series coming up here soon. Dex pants. Uh, these may be for her. I'm going to put these aside just in case. She wears these kind of pants to work. So put those aside. Because I told her, you know, make if you're going to get stuff with weird names, make sure it's loud. Has style. Has, you know, something unique about them. American Rag. Never heard of it. But I guess I'm going to learn something new. That's what I like about doing this. She's going to grab stuff that I would probably never even think about grabbing. I probably would have grabbed this, but... And then when I list them, I'll be able to see, and now I'm going to learn more from it. So you're learning just as much as I'm learning here. Awesome. So Lucky Brand shorts. Mm, I see I would have passed on these. We'll see. You can look in the store when I get them listed and see what they're going for. Here's some more of those little goofy craft things. James likes. Ah, that's a good one. Blues. Hockey season starts tonight. The Blues. Blues won the Stanley Cup last year for the first time ever. You don't know how excited I was. I was like, ah! I was so excited, and we were so able to keep our team together. I made a sports bet for the first time. I bet $1,000 that we would repeat. The odds were 15 to 1. So if we do it, I get to $16,000. That's going to be awesome. Oh, and they're going to do it, too. Uh, house DVD set. Yeah, it looks like just a Christmas seal CD. Probably nothing there. A couple bucks here. That's cool. What brand is this? Oh, Stephen Barry. Denim jacket. Hmm. See, I've been... Uh, usually the Stephen Barry stuff is... You got something on them, or it's at school related or sports related or what have you. It's just a plain lined jean jacket. It's kind of cool though. Right time of year for it, so it may do something. It may. Oh, that's cool. A uh, light switch cover from a zoo. That's cool. That could be an easy $10 bill right there. We shall see. And uh, being that this has no tag, I'm guessing she got this for her, so we're going to throw that aside. Get this off here. Get a little stuffy in here. All right, she knows I grab hoodies, so let's see what she got here. Paul Rizzler Transportation. Oh, that's cool. I like that. California, Missouri. Truck hauler. That would be one of those items that may take forever to move, but we'll see. What is this? A little clutch of some sort, I guess? Is that what you call these? A clutch? Oh no, don't open it, man! I can't, I can't break into it. Uh, there we go. Ah. Got your little wallets and stuff in there. Chain come loose, I'm gonna have to fix that. Other than that, kind of cool. Something I would not have grabbed, so check my store and see what I put it up for, because I don't know as of yet. And if you're watching this video, I may not have everything listed because she got some stuff, so it might take me a couple few days to list this stuff because I've got to do other things on top of it. So let's see, what is this? 21 denim, 2.1 denim, another pair of denim shorts. I wouldn't have grabbed that, so we'll see. Juicy, Juicy Couture. Yep. Juicy Couture, some guess girl sweatpants. I wouldn't have grabbed it, so I'll learn something new there. Good or bad, I'll be learning something new. As long as uh, she's making money, she was a positive the first week, so hopefully they'll transfer into the second week. So it's just a basic Tommy polo shirt. Nothing major there. Loft brand. Like a dress of some sort. 
something another item I would have passed I wouldn't have bought so we'll see there we go Caribbean silk blend you get the right Hawaiian shirt you can make some money on these I don't know enough about brands when I come across them I have to look them up and I have not retained any of that information on brands to uh, remember so I don't know if that's a good brand or not so I need to start tagging that information in my head a little bit deeper so I can remember oh, that's cool Hard Rock Cafe Miami Polo you usually grab anything Hard Rock because Hard Rock stuff so overpriced to buy it in person when you go to Hard Rock Cafe or on vacation or whatever. So I like grabbing that stuff. People can go on vacation and then come to my store and buy the merchandise and say they got it there and save a lot of money doing so. <laughs> All right, we got the Magic 8 Ball here. Let's see. Will this video get a thousand views? As I see it, yes. That's a good thing. This thing's true too, right? Yeah, we see Magic Eight Ball. I don't know. I don't know if these things resell. I've never found one, to be honest with you. So I don't know if they resell. So you'll look in my store and you'll learn as I learn. Marmot, marmot. I should stop trying to pronounce shit because I suck at it. M A R M O T. I don't know this brand. Cool design though. We'll see. We shall see. Another shirt I would have grabbed, Chicago, Illinois. So that's from 92. So I can technically put vintage on that one. Big old Mizzou shirt. Mizzou stuff's kind of slowed down for me. Cardinal stuff is picking up since they were in the playoffs. Disney shirt. Your, your. Grab all Disney stuff, kinda. More or less all Disney stuff. A little kid's Hot Wheel shirt. I kinda actually like that. I probably would have grabbed that if I saw it just because it's got the cars on it like that. I like that. Sooners. That is what, uh, Oklahoma? That's cool. <laughs> A mini hoodie jacket with the ears. That should be a cool 12, 15 bucks. Made for life. I gotta see if this is something that she got for herself. Looks like something she would probably wear. Alrighty, Missouri State Bears. Another local thing, not local area-ish. Ranger Up. 2008. We hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal. Biggity bam. Truth. Oh, that's cool. I always like grabbing military stuff so you still got to go through the wash they just came in the door Ed Harney I'm starting to grab this stuff because I got a feeling this is going to be like the next in thing I don't think they're really hot right now that I know of I haven't really checked on them I'm going to start grabbing them because I think this is going to be like the next vintage thing that takes off so we'll see if it hasn't already so if it has i'm behind if it hasn't i'm ahead of the time and i'm predicting the future another one of the military that's cool backbone of the army last piece in this tote and then we got a little pile over here hooters i grab all restaurant all restaurant 
sorry. All restaurant stuff I grab because it sells, it seals. Uh, uh, perfect gift for fans. Keepsake 10, four hardcover, 97 page journals featuring cover art. Oh, that's cool. So it's like a journal, it ain't a book, so that's cool. So just journals. It's sealed, so that's probably why she grabbed that. So don't know what it's worth. Why don't we scan it real quick and see if it comes up via barcode? I mean, I am making a video here, right? You checked out my other videos, right? The eBay way. I got a new video series coming. Check that out soon. Brand new. Sold. $10 free shipping. About $4 media mail ship. Five, six bucks. Can't complain, I guess, when you only got a few, you know, probably 45, 50 cents into it. All right. E and P. Looks like a golf. It's got a golf logo. This looks like a little cardigan sweater of some sort. I kind of like it, actually. Feels like it's some good, decent quality. So we'll see what that goes for. Here, 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 here. Women's clothes are so freaking confusing. No wonder you people are so complicated. You female species drive me nuts trying to figure out these clothes. If I had to wear them, I'd be complicated too, man. All right, that's kind of cool, cool. I don't know if this is for her or not. Soft surroundings. I'll put that aside just in case. What the hell is this? It's a true dress. Rare editions. I wouldn't grab it, so I don't know. We will see. Imported fabric brand made in West Germany. That is a cool coat, though. That's cool. I like that. It's got a little rip there, but I don't know if that's going to matter too much. I like that, actually. Let's see how good it is going to be. Ooh, this is a cool little hat. It's got a little zipper thing there, but it is a Converse hat. Pretty spiffy. I like that. Maybe I got me a new hat to wear. You know what I'm saying? Gee, what's up? All right. And one more item. This was on the bottom of her cart. I usually pass these up. I do have a few in my store as of right now, and that's probably why she grabbed it. So it's a newer, newer-ish version. It ain't your classics, but we'll see what it goes for. All right, that's what we found. That's what we sold. And uh, if you want to see what these are going up for, urban-picker.com. Utopia category. Follow me on Instagram. All the links are below. If you're watching this on YouTube, if you're watching this on Facebook, the links will probably be above. Instagram, I try to share all the $10 and up items that I sell to give you kind of an idea of what moves on eBay. Because my motto is, I'm not leaving a $10 bill laying in a bin. So if I know I can make 10 bucks on it, I'm picking it up because that's just the way I roll. You see, and that leads me to I'm starting a new video series as of right now. You're the first to hear it. It is going to be called Mediocre Money. Mediocre Money. What that is, is today I was in a laid back mood. 
So I decided instead of jumping in at the bins and fighting for stuff, I did it for a couple of times and I'm like, yeah, I just, I'm not, I'm not in that mood today. Cause when, if you've been to the bins and you're into the whole, you know, getting in there, which I am, trust me, but you gotta be in a mood. I wasn't in that mood today. So I laid back. I was in the bin behind the, the, <laughs> the hot bin. So when they moved on, I started really detailing the bin they left behind. So it's going to be titled Mediocre Money and Something to Do. I haven't hashed out the exact title yet. It's going to be about items left behind or items they passed up or something to that effect. So if you want to check out that, that's going to be my new, my third video series, Mediocre M Money. And that is going to be basically aimed at people who don't want to get into that mess. You know, maybe it's somebody who's retired and maybe, you know, they just don't want to get in or they physically can't get into fighting for items, not physically, but you know what I mean, if you've been there or they just don't have the mindset or they feel claustrophobic when they're doing it. I mean, there's a million different reasons or you're just not in the mood. So this, this new video series will just show you what they leave behind because a lot of people just pick through really quick, move on to the next. You know, you've got certain people who look for certain items. I don't expect to find the vintage t-shirts in there because there's, you know, to anywhere from two to six people in front of me who's going after the vintage t-shirts. So I'm not expecting to find the super high dollar items. I'm not expecting, and then, you're, then you got, you know, the people looking for the super brand names. I'm not expecting to find them, but you never know because not everybody digs all the way down and they're immediately on to the next, hoping to score a big item there. So there can be surprises, but it will also show you how you can make money on the mediocre stuff that people leave behind. So check out that video series. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. And uh, I'm going to keep trying to share any knowledge I have with you guys. So for free. So uh, thank you guys. And I'll catch you next week on the next episode. If she makes her $54 back in a week. If I can get it up in a week. Good Lord. God, dang, she's going to give me mercy. I got my stuff to do. All right. So thanks, everybody. And.